In this video, we're going to walk you through how to get a YouTube video to work in this WordPress website and to keep it responsive so that the video plays in YouTube and we can control several, in fact, most of the behavioral elements of the video. We can control things such as what was very important to me, what happens at the end of the video playing. Um, I'm not a big fan of showing all the related videos because that can distract your viewer away from your website. So with this plugin that we're going to use, which is called YouTube Shortcode Plugin, which we've got installed in this site, which also has Pinpoint as the theme. Um, we've already done FAQs 1, 2 and 3 on this screen here. Uh, this is a portfolio screen. Let's just jump into number three and show you how it works. It loads as soon as you land on it, so it's an autoplay, which I'll just stop for a second. And, and the post also has uh, the title of the FAQ uh, and alongside it uh, another box with a return to the FAQs. So you click on that and it takes you straight back to the whole portfolio. Um, and I think there are 12 on here in total. So how do we get that video to work? Well, first of all, you need the plugin installed, YouTube shortcode, which is in place. And then you add your portfolio um, item thumbnail to this so that all the videos uh, doing it this way don't all load up at once. So we've got a post here with FAQ4 on it. If we jump back to the full listing of FAQs, you can see there's the thumbnail. Um, so if we um, edit, go back to FAQ4 and then click on edit the portfolio item, we'll just walk through how we add the details using the Swift Page Builder, which is really helpful and speedy for producing your post or page. So all of the things that we need are in here. We need two lots of boxed content. So we'll click one, and there's number two. Um, we next need to resize those because it's quick and easy. Click on the left to bring it down to first of all three quarters, then again to take it to two thirds. And the one that sits alongside, it will drop into place when we bring that one down to the right size with one, two, three, four clicks. And now it's two thirds and one third and in place. We need uh, a divider underneath that and then we also need a text block which is where we're going to add in the YouTube coding um, along with the code from the YouTube site for the corresponding video that's already been uploaded to YouTube all right so let's click on update to get those items together now when I'm doing these I usually just keep a uh, text edit page open as well to add in uh, the title. Uh, if we just um, jump back to the um, the item on a separate tab here, let's get it up here, which is FAQs. This is the one we're working on, FAQ4. What format do my photos need to be in is the question flick to the back end and we will add that uh, title in in the visual editor if you wish and we'll give that a h1 format and we'll do a quick save and there's the box content we'll update that now quickly jump across and you'll see the first part of it's already done that was quite painless flick across and we'll just refresh the screen and jump into number four let's open it in a new tab with a command there we go here's faq4 so there is the heading we've just put in what format do my photos need to be in we're going to change this one next on the right change it from a colored to a, a white bordered background straight back to the back end click on this pencil to edit and I've already prepared which I will copy and paste in the ahref 
link which will take us back to the FAQs page so I shall drop that into the text tab here just command V for updating you can see here it's a h1 ah ref and there's the link to the FAQs with the words click here to return to FAQs within it so down to save ah we need to just change it from actually before I refresh that I'll show you in in a blue colored box uh, the link doesn't stand out very clearly um, I'll show you why before we change it and um, we just refresh and you'll see this box come up now it's got the link in but when you hover it goes blue so it's not too good to make it stand out we'll just flick back to it edit it and change it for the white with a stroke option which is down here white with a stroke save and update and just as soon as we've whirled around and finished we'll refresh that screen and it'll change and be a lot more easier to when you hover over it turns blue that seems to work better so now we've got to put the video in here which has just got this arbitrary text in at the moment back to the back end there's the divider here is the I am the text block heading uh, we go to edit and this is where we use the plugin we talked about the YouTube shortcode plugin presents you with this little tiny box here so first of all let's get rid of that text and we will hit this um, I've got a tab open to my YouTube and we want the FAQ 4 that's already loaded up so let me go to my video manager and find the FAQ 4 video which is here what format do my photos need to be in we click on share hold it and we take this and copy it and go back to the back end and we paste it in to the top box we don't need the playlist box filled out because we that's if you want to rotate videos around on the same setting the title attribute is worth putting in because this um, will help with your SEO so I'm actually just going to copy it from the clipboard and paste it in to save some time what format do my photos need to be in if you leave the player appearance width and height it's got a sort of grade in 56340 but if you leave it blank it will be responsive and it will fill the page in accordance with the theme and also the device that's uh, it's being viewed on I tend to tick the prevent the YouTube logo from displaying in the control bar it's a modest branding thing and then I like to go for the progress bar and player controls to slide out of view just after the video starts playing and they re reappear if you hover over so that's that one I am setting this to auto play so that when we go to the post uh, the video plays as soon as it's loaded and I'm going to disable the load of related videos because this takes you off into uh, YouTube land at the end with that ticked it won't it'll just stop and hold at the end which is how I like to set it up and that's it there's a few other options in there if you want to use them but you just hit this blue button insert short code and in the code goes into that text box that we've just created uh, I don't want any margin I don't want any borders uh, I just click the blue save the blue update button and if we jump back to the post and just hit refresh the video should appear and it should play as soon as it's loaded and there it goes so that's how to insert a responsive video from YouTube into your WordPress post it would work the same way on a page as well as a post um, under the pinpoint theme using the Swift page builder.